I recently did an interview with a guy called Kiff McManus, who's a sound recordist who's worked on all of like, 80, over 80 episodes of Top Gear, really, really active shows. And he has a he has a standard rig he likes to use, which is quite a good rig for, for just a safe rig for all sorts of scenarios. And what he what he does is he uses a 4061 on most occasions, which is basically this mic. And he will first things he'll do is he'll look to find the cap where the holes are on the DPA. So he's aware that that side is actually hearing, that side isn't hearing so well. So the, the DPA actually listens more from one side than another. He doesn't want this side to face sticky tape. Sticky tape goes on this side. So he'll, he will mark up his microphones with a little dot there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a, uh, a, a bit of uh, sticky tape onto the back side. So he will use a Ryko sticky or uh, an Ursa sticky and it will go like that. And then uh, basically, so now the grill is on the top. So it's just be, it's just to be aware, so one of these small details. Now you could just put something over that, but to make it extra secure, what he does is he gets another piece of sticky tape. In this case, I'm just gonna use one of these because it's, it's handy. And he covers it like this. So he pre-prepares it to have another bit of sticky tape like that. Unpeel that one. So now you've got uh, sticky. So now what we'll do is, again, you don't have to use Ursa soft circles or fur circles, but he'll take a, a fur. So this could be any company fur. Stick it over the top. Really make sure it covers the front end like that. So now it's the primary thing is it's, it's sticking over over the front end, so it's really secure on the mic. And what he'll do is, instead of running it up the body and sticking it there, he will go over the shoulder and stick it like that. And then here, what he's got is on the end of here, I've put a uh, safety pin. Because on Top Gear, you will find, and other shows, you'll find a lot of, um, a lot of you know, unpredictable action. And so if something pulls, he doesn't want it to pull on the sticky tape and on the mic. So he will, he will have a, a, like a, a way of it stopping for this to be pulled through. So in this case, I've made a knot, but you can, you can put, a, for example, you can stick a bit of tape and then you can put a pin through the tape. So the, the tape is like pinned down, so it stays in place. So, um, but the other main thing is you'd think, okay, stick that to the skin and then the fur does the job. But what he, doesn't, what he does is he sticks this to the fabric and then the sticky tape, the sticky tape is actually providing wind protection. So this side is stuck to the fabric. That's the reason he side, marks. Yeah. So, yeah, so he knows now that like, the, he doesn't want the, the, the gaps to be looking at the sticky tape. He wants the gaps to be out this way. You know, the, mm -hmm. the mic is facing the, the, the body. The the chest. So he'll stick it, like if it's on me, it's kind of difficult to do it to myself, but he would stick it like onto the fabric. He might find a part of the fabric where there's maybe a little bit of a, a thing. So he'd stick it like that downwards there. And then let's say that there's a, right. And then it's gonna go over my back and down the back. But then that rig, because the sticky tape basically provides wind protection. <laughs> they can be, you know, going on a motorbike or having a lot of action, but because the sticky tape is facing the fabric, you, you don't get so much noise from wind when it's that way around compared mm -hmm. to when the mic is actually, uh, when the fur is facing out. So uh, we can try and plug this in and have a listen. So, okay, so there it is. It's, you know, the softness of the fur against the skin is okay, and hopefully this will be okay on wind. Yeah? Very good, yeah. very good. Because basically it's that, it's the plastic of the, the sticky is providing pretty much the wind protection. Uh, and then the mic, the capsule is facing in, you know, that's really important that the the holes of the DPA are facing toward the body. You don't really want them facing the sticky tape. And he uses the fur as to help reduce the rustle against the body. And this, and if this gets pulled or tugged, 
it's not going to pull the mic because it's going up and over the shoulder. You normally don't go up and over the shoulder. Normally, the imp you, you think, oh, it's going to go up. But, it, you know, there's less problems with it being tugged and then it being held on with a safety pin over some tape. It means that if this gets tugged, the safety pin ha helps the tape stay on. If it gets wet, that can just help keep it all in place. And then I've also done a knot in the cable here to help reduce the cable noise. I thought possibly the knot would mean that it wouldn't go beyond the safety pin. To get the, the big knot beyond the safety pin, it will also hold it. So yeah, that's the rig <laughs> and it's simple. But the, the other key thing to it was that double s s sticky tape to make sure the fur stayed it's, on. It's, it stayed. Yeah. Yeah. And he said like he, he does the rigs himself. So he won't say, now, even though they, they do this all the time, he still does it himself. He doesn't let them do it. He'll still stick it on himself because there's such a big difference between a, it being here or it being under, uh, uh, you know, under the the um, yeah, the safety the belt. belt. Yeah, yeah. Safety belt. because obviously it wants to be on the side of the camera. So he turns onto camera, turns onto camera, and has the safety belt safe safe from it. So he generally puts them kind of this sort of area. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you guys. Well, I think we're going to go and grab some food. Uh, so anyone who wants to come to the bar.